Well, hello, it's closing time once again here in John Kay's bookshop. And today I thought I'd tell you a little bit about a review I've been writing. It's about a book on uh, the metaverse and AI. It's a non-fiction book uh, by two authors, Alvin Grayling and Louis Rosenberg. And uh, what I thought I'd tell you about is a, is a part of the review that I've had to jettison. It was a kind of Macbeth motif that I had gone, gotten very attached to. But it was one of those things in an 800 or 700 word review where I just had to let it go. It was beginning to overshadow the rest of the review, this, this kind of like uh, nice scheme that I'd come up with. So I've had to kick the Macbeth portion out of my review of this nonfiction book that has nothing to do with Macbeth. Um, but I thought I'd tell you about it or tell YouTube about it since I've already told YouTube about so many of my ideas about Macbeth. So what got me thinking about Macbeth in terms of this book was a scene in which one of the authors, I forget which one, they basically take turns talking about one aspect of the metaverse. Um, uh, one of them talks about doing a virtual biopsy and uh, waving a scalpel around. And the way he described it was so theatrical that I was already thinking along the lines of, is this a scalpel which I see before me? And then pages later, one of the authors goes to try out the Oculus uh, which I think is the VR headset that Facebook made. He goes to try that out for the first time in the office of someone called, no joke, Steve Macbeth. And that just made it far too tempting to try and weave a Macbeth theme into this into this book review. There were a bunch of little uh, jumping off points that I, I was trying to piece together um, using lines from Macbeth's speech, which uh, starts with the dagger. My, my overarching point was that uh, VR will be aiming to outdo uh, the vision of Macbeth. It will be sensible to feeling as well as sight. Um, thanks to haptic technology, you will be able to grasp the false creations you are presented with, unlike Macbeth. For him, a tension does still exist, even though he's hallucinating between objective reality and his fantasies. Whereas the, the stated objective of VR technology is to completely eliminate that tension. To, um, to get rid of the, the headaches that they describe of, of people trying out semi-immersive um, virtual reality or augmented reality. Um, users have described a, a kind of a headachey feeling as you're, as you're in and out of the real world and the, and the virtual world. Full immersion will get rid of that as over the one half world nature falls dead. It's quite a bleak vision, and um, the authors are, are surprisingly uh, chipper and blasé. Maybe not surprising, since, since they, they work in the tech industry. They've got every reason to be excited about this, this technology that they've been working on in one way or another for a long period of their lives. But when it comes to describing or, or speculating about people in the near future spending almost their entire lives um, in virtual reality uh, with with virtual partners working in in virtual marketplaces that to me seemed like a very dismal prospect um, not a vision of life but a vision of life as a walking shadow